Howdy folks, it's a big exciting day. It's Thursday. We well, A lot of times we give something away or we start a contest. We've got a really good contest this time around. Yeah, uh, through a deal with the company, uh, Two Trees, we are giving away three CNC machines. Yeah, so you're gonna need to enter that. So let's check out this new CNC. Wow, yeah. So if you've been following the show, you know that I wasn't supposed to show this CNC until February the 15th by the agreement with uh, the company. But uh, the other day they called and just said, hey, show it, go ahead and show it. And it's like, okay, the TTC 450 is from Two Trees and they had the best enclosed laser I've ever seen come in here last year. And it's like a prosumer kind of level quality. So it's a really good machine. Uh, last year, they also sent in a uh, laser here that's the open air. It is the largest open air, excellent quality, good cable management, everything. And again, a 10 watt diode laser does everything it's supposed to do. So, really good stuff. So, they do have a small CNC, but they said, oh no, this is a much bigger one. So, I was really excited to see this thing, and they sent it over, and it was like, whoa, quality, good size. We got to take a look at all this. My biggest scare, I guess, was the price. Now, I was putting it up there pretty high. So the first clip I want to show you is uh, when we unboxed the, uh, the, the CNC machine. So you can just take a look and see what comes in the box. There's a lot of parts, but you know, you're looking at a nice piece of equipment when you get it all together, right? Let's, let's run that. For yeah, so here's what's in the box from the spoil board, which is actually in two piece, but you can see it makes a fairly large spoil board plus the manual. But we also get all these other goodies, of course, all the construction parts we're gonna to need to put this CNC machine together with. And you can see that there's just a lot here right now, a bag full of tools and hardware and stuff. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Wow, here it is. It's all assembled. Uh, I've got the guard off this side and I wanted to show you the screw drives that are here. There's, there's dual steppers with dual st drives on both sides. Also on all access. So your X, your Y, and your Z all have this threaded rod or you know, screwdriver for, that is the very first thing you wanna look for in any CNC machine. You don't want those crazy rubber belts with the little you know, teeth on them, the timing belt looking thing. And also, I wanted to show you that Two Trees puts these chains in. They have cable management and chain all the way up here into the Z axis. So it's like, this is one of the things they do. So they have good, quality. These people are serious about making, you know, a good machine. But so besides the screw drive, the other thing I was looking at was this right here. Yeah, I knew this came with it because I'd, I'd looked at the specs, but I'll turn it on. And this is a touchscreen control pad, which is, comes with the machine. And you also have, of course, your emergency stop. Whoops. Yeah, I shouldn't have, well, I guess I shouldn't have done that. It works, you know, <laughs> but this is your uh, touchscreen control pad. And you can even load your project up in here and call the project up from the touch screen right here. So yeah, you know, they really did a nice job putting this together. This this really was another one of those, yeah, gotta have it. Also, before I forget, uh, I didn't mention it for some reason. I also have Wi-Fi built into the machine, so that's good. We also have a, a TF card or micro card uh, SD slot. Uh, also, of course, a printer cable to tie it into a computer. It's got, you know, it's got all the usuals, but uh, let's take a look at the spoil board. I'm actually gonna give you the American size. Okay, we got 20 inches across here, and depth-wise, the spoil board is 24 inches. So, yeah, that can give you a real good idea as to the size. You know, it is it is a good size CNC machine. The other thing that this comes with, of course, is you actually have a total of six of these clamp systems with the bolts and wing nuts to lock your work down. There's other ways to hold wood, of course, on a CNC machine while you carve or engrave the wood, but they give you six, which is a good number. I like that. Also, we're gonna talk about the tools, tooling. So here's the tooling, uh, or the bits at least, that we get with the machine. You get 10 of these, which are a very pointy uh, flute type bit. So you kind of have to watch your fingers around those things, they're pretty sharp. You have this one end mill, which is fairly small. And then we've got the large V milling uh, cutter here, V-shaped that's a heavier shaft and also you get a heavy collet six millimeter collet that goes with this in order to be able to use that size but also if you want to order different sizes of course keep it in mind this is a six millimeter collet and i would stick with the six millimeter very similar size to quarter inch 
but I wouldn't try to jam a quarter inch, say, bit in here. I would stick with the metric situation. It, you know, it is what it is. Uh, one of these is missing right now because the collet and the bit is, of course, in the machine. Other tools for assembly, uh, this comes in, of course, these are just the wrenches for working with the collet, but you also get a set of Allen keys, a little snip cutter, and of course you have the uh, <coughs> safety glasses. And this is your Z-axis pro uh, probe for your Z, so you can set your Z. So there's a lot of uh, going on here, but uh, tooling-wise, they give you everything you need, including a really nice instruction manual, which actually uh, goes step-by-step -step through each area to help you to understand that you're you know how this is going to be put together and if you walk through the uh, manual you pretty much you you should have it it, it should be a no-brainer <laughs> okay a bit noisy but what we were doing here was just setting up uh, just running a little test cut through this plywood just for um, initial testing before we do anything too fancy. Another thing I wanted to point out too is every little bag had a label on it to tell you what size of screw and you know what's in there so when you're assembling you can refer to the labels and they'll tell you what the screw is because obviously everything is going to be in metric when it comes in. The uh, test indicates uh, just a 100 millimeter little cut in depth here from here to here and that's exactly what I got so you know pretty good at setup. Uh, there was a software glitch here today which was uh, this is set up for PC and I use apples so I'm using my Apple programs to I guess you could say not Apple programs well downloaded free software that runs with Mac OS and I'm using that to run the machine with and it is doing perfectly fine it calibrated it set up I got my Z, Z probe on here and worked it out so the uh, machine is doing terrific and it is doing you know well it's doing everything that I'm looking for in this case the test for a hundred millimeter gouge right here on this wood is, it did exactly what it's supposed to do looking good uh, yeah uh, make sure you got lots of light when you put it together because it is a fairly extensive assembly but you know said it's it's really it's a large nice uh, CNC uh, engraving machine so of a high-speed router. The motor, by the way, seems to have a lot of power and doesn't seem to show any heat when I've run it. I've run it for extended amount of time so, uh, since we've uh, been messing around here. But uh, the assembly is is like if you put a 3D printer together at some point in time or something, this is kind of a no-brainer. But leave yourself lots of time. Uh, I took part of a day and part of a second day to assemble this carefully, but I was keeping an eye out just to see if there were anything, uh, any problems or something I might run into that I could uh, flag two trees with and say, hey, you know, you need to, you know, modify or change this or something. But uh, it all looked out, it, it just overall looked really good. And like I said, I was very excited because of just the virtual size of the, the uh, spoiler board here, of the, the work area, it's just, you know, it was like, wow. It's like, yeah, this is definitely gonna be a nice size for somebody. I just pulled the camera down here for a second because I just wanted you to see this. The gantry has good height, you know, and that was another thing that um, I liked about the machine when I first saw the features was like, oh yeah, this is good too. Another project with this, uh, the two trees sent over to show, and I'll see if I can get a link for you. They made a uh, stool on this machine, and it's a really nice wooden stool with wooden legs and actually a centerpiece with it and everything all carved out on this machine, and it looked really good. I'll, I'll see if I can get you a link down below for the uh, video for that because it is well worth watching. Yeah. We got to talk about the contest situation. Giving away three of these. Now, how, how this is going to happen, Two Trees is going to actually ship and give these things away. There's going to be three of them. And what they did was they provided me a link to provide to you guys. So in the description below, there'll be a link for where you can hopefully, I guess, pre-order, I don't know if they're available yet, pre-order the machine, but also there'll be a contest link in there that you can go to, to where you can enter for the draw to get win a possible chance of winning one of the three uh, brand new, you know, 450s that are being given away by Two Trees. Wow, awesome. I'm gonna call this uh, part one or something. We're gonna come back and we're gonna hit this uh, CNC machine some more with different projects and things. And I just wanted to get this out to you. Uh, this was kind of a rush, get it out to you this week because of the contest for one, I want every viewer that comes in that you know it gets a chance 
he can go enter and see if he can win himself one of these you know CNC machines and also uh, it was like we were ready to do this for two more weeks but it was like yeah you know when they told me when they said go ahead I said well okay let's get on that but I want to come back uh, more specifically towards the machine scrape so really where you're spending your time is going to be your software and there's tons of software out there for CNC machines and there's there's free software there's you know subscription stuff and there's also you know buy it and hopefully you got a lifetime um, <clears throat> uh, yeah license I've heard that can go wrong too <laughs> yeah and there's a lot of you know interesting things now price wise I understand it's going to be a shade under one thousand dollars which like I said surprised me when I started building the machine and at that point we still didn't have a price or a range on it I kept thinking that we're probably between twelve and fifteen hundred dollars or even higher especially with some of the quality of the build so uh, the price is you know wow it's it's I, apparently they've done a pretty good job of trying to give you a good price love that touchscreen uh, that is the best touchscreen on the machines I have ever seen we've had some other CNC's in here and nothing like that that thing is really sweet you know <laughs> so what can I tell you guys thank you so much for watching coffee and tools and please like share subscribe ring the notice bell we're always giving stuff away and it's Thursday so I guess we sort of had a contest didn't we <laughs> For, for a CNC <laughs> and we'll be back oh yeah part two coming up next week I guess adios